the amazing thing is when the center of you, this little thing that's trying to figure it out and get to nirvana and spiritually awaken or whatever it's trying to do or sustain the experience it had last week or last year or whatever, the little thing that's in the center, when it's trying to do that, it's understandable that it tries to do that because that's all it knows how to do. But when it is starts to be seen that this little thing in the center that's scrambling to get something or get somewhere or sustain some experience is itself the cause of the imaginary difficulty, problem, separation, call it what you will. Then if you see it, and you don't see it because you practice right, you see it because you see it. You see? <laughs> when it's seen, somehow energy stops being invested into it. If you don't see it, you'll continue to invest interest in energy into the center that's trying to figure everything out, get it just right, meditate perfectly, do this perfectly, get just the right, as long as, you're, as long as you don't see that this is just the center, the imaginary center, the movement of thought scrambling for answers that couldn't possibly ever be real answers. If you don't see that, you'll continue to invest it with energy, but when you see it for what it is, oh, it's just, it's the illusion of me trying to get somewhere. And it's trying to get somewhere because it absolutely believes in separation. If it didn't, it wouldn't be getting anywhere, would it? When it's seen, oh, that's what it's doing. And even trying to get rid of it is more of that. Trying to get beyond it is more of that. Talk, 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 talk. When it's seen, ah. Something says, something realizes, I'm done. I'm done with that. I've had it with that. I'm not doing that. That is insanity. And then for the first time, there's a real stopping. It does, does not mean you no longer have a thought in your head. It means you're no longer invested in thought. You could care less about thought. If your mind babbled on for 10 years, what would you care if you were not invested in it? It, it wouldn't matter to you. Maybe it'll be quiet. Maybe it won't be quiet. It doesn't matter. That's not what stops. What stops is your investment in it, your belief in it, your faith in it. And when that stops, reality is shining. It always was shining. It always was there. This very simple realization. Everything is an expression of one uncommunicable nothing. And that imaginary little being in the imaginary little center that chatters its imaginary little chatter is imaginary. It, it, since it's imaginary, it does not have to be gotten rid of. You only think you have to get rid of it if you think it's real. But it's just imaginary. And then the fight is off. There's no fight, no war. No conflict inside. Not trying to overcome this or that. Now if you're sensitive, you can't be seeking, you can't be looking for anything. If you're sensitive,
you can start to notice, feel, experience that this presence is already present. It is here. It is here among you and within you and as you. Do not touch it with your mind. Do not touch it and it will come into your consciousness quicker than you ever imagined. 